Okay, boys and girls, now we move on to our first page of 4.3. We just talked about, and you learned about related facts, and we're going to do some of those. Now, if you have your blue and your uh, green crayon, then let's get those. If you don't, just get two colors that you can use. Um, <clears throat> I want us to think through this problem together. And we're going to use our blue and green crayon to draw the problem in the first box. In this first rectangular box is where we're working right now. Maria has seven games. She gets three more. How many games does she have? Okay, you want to think that we'll use maybe our green crayon and draw the seven games. And I will do this with you. And I will get my green and draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then she got three more games, and we want to pick up our blue at this point and show those as blue. One, two, three. Now it wants to know how many games that she has all together. <clears throat> so we want to put, uh, we want to add those together. And we are going to put our first number as seven, because we know that she had seven games first. And then we want to write a plus. And then we're going to put three, that she had three games to add to that. Now I want you to count your dots and see what the sum of seven plus three. Okay, and we know the sum of seven plus three is 10. And we have been working on the sums of 10 uh, over the last couple of weeks. And so this is another seven plus three equals 10. Okay, <clears throat> now, keeping with the same blue and green crayon or whatever you have we're going to move down to the next and we are going to see how that we can use our addition sentence uh, to solve our next problem okay so maria has 10 games she gave three of them to her friends how many games are there now okay we know that when something goes away or we give it away, we are subtracting. So we want to see how that we can use our first problem to solve this second problem. All right, now, what do we notice about this number sentence? Maria had 10 games. She gave three of them to her friends. How many does she have now? I hope that you said that our second problem is starting with the sum of our first problem because she had 10. So I want you right now to write the number 10 and draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. Now, I chose blue for this problem just because I still had blue. You could have used either blue or green. It would not have mattered. Okay, if we remember way back early in the year when we did subtraction and when something goes away, what do we have to do? And it said three of the games went away. We have to circle that group, and then we X them out to show that they've gone away. We don't ever erase it. We leave it there so we know what went away. So now we have minus three of the games went away. Now we have our problem here that shows us we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to see that we have seven um, games that are left. 
But I want you to look. Do you see how that we have used the same three numbers? We have used 7, we used 3, and we used 10. These are related facts because they use the same three numbers. And we turned our addition sentence around into a subtraction sentence. So if that is how that we see that our problems are alike is because they are using the same, um, the same numbers. Now, um, I'm going to pause and move to us to the next page and you flip up and over so we can move on. Okay, we see our little grasshopper friend. Now, this is where that you can, um, there's a couple of different things that you can do. You can, you can get a, a blank paper and draw on it. I would love if you would use your number line that we have made. The more practice that you get with your number line, um, the more comfortable you'll get with using that. And that is such an, a good tool to use to solve uh, addition and subtraction sentences at this point in first grade. Um, but if you have trouble with the number line, you can use your um, paper and draw circles and you can use your crayons. Now, <clears throat> we are going to look at the top problem together and an addition fact can help us solve a subtraction fact. Um, what I'm going to ask us to do first in this problem is I want you to use your number line and I want you to solve 8 minus 6. If you will do that right now, um, we always start on the bigger number and we're going to count backwards 6, backwards, going back toward 1. That's what we want to do. All right, so you can tell me your answer. And I hope that you landed on the number 2 because six, 8 minus 6 is 2. So now let's look and see if we can fill in our addition sentence. We have 8 minus 6 is 2. So if 8 minus 6 is 2, 6 plus what is 8? Let's look at our problem and see what number that we would need to use. We see that we have already used the 6, we've already used the 8, so now we will put 2, and 6 minus 2, 6 plus 2, excuse me, 6 plus 2 is 8. So these are related facts because they use three numbers, okay? Alright, I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to move down with you, okay? Now, this is what I would like for you to do. I would like if we're going to do the first one together, <clears throat> and then I would like for you to pause, and I want you to complete one, two, three, and four. After we complete one, you'll do two, three, and four, and then you'll unpause and come back, and we will walk through each answer, okay? All right, let's do the first one. Get your number line, and start on the biggest number which is 9 and um, we're going to go back 6 okay 9 minus 6 <clears throat> all right and I hope that you said 3 because 9 minus 6 is 3 now let's look how can we fill in our addition sentence okay we can say we have 9, we've used 6, and now we have 3. So now we know that 6 plus 3 equals 9, okay? Now, I want you to pause the video, <clears throat> and I want you to do 2, 3, and 4, and then come back and check your work with me. Okay, now then, I hope that you um, were able to solve 11 minus 5. Tell me the answer because you already have it. Great, it is 6. Now, we are going to fill in our addition sentence. If 11 minus 5 is 6, 
then 6 plus 5 ooh, is 11. I'm having trouble with my pen. Okay, <clears throat> now let's look at our bottom problem, number 3. Find on your number line 10 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Good job. So this is a sum of 10 that we're working on. So if 10 minus 8 is 2, then I hope you put that 8 plus 2 equals 10. Great job. Now on number 4, 7 minus 3. Very good, and I hope you said 7 minus 4, excuse me, equals 3. So now we turn this around into an addition sentence, and we would say that 4 plus 3 equals 7. Great job. Now then, double check, and if you missed any of those, make sure you correct your paper. <clears throat> now... Okay, now then we are on our next page. You'll flip just over like a pancake and um, be on number five. Now notice we do number five and six and they look similar to what we did on our previous pages. But seven through 16, they have taken away the addition sentence for you to think about. But you can still think about those in your mind to help you to solve these subtraction problems. Um, again, you have your number line, you have a piece of paper that if you want to um, draw your circles, whichever way you would like to. And then you will move down. I want you to solve 7 through 16. I will not work through those, but I would like if you um, make a picture of those and send them to me so that I can check for uh, accuracy on those and um, I can let you know, send you a message if there's something that I feel that you need help with. Um, pause the video now and solve 5 through 16. And when you come back to the video, we will work on number 17 on the hot problem together. Okay, now then on number 17, um, we are back together and we want to look at this problem um, and it is still keeping in mind that we are thinking about the um, how to use subtraction and addition sentences to help solve problems. Now, Emil has 13 pencils in a cup. You can see that they drew the pencils on the side for us. He takes some pencils out. There are six pencils left in the cup. How many pencils does he take out? Okay, so we would want to start and think that first of all, he had 13 pencils in the cup. Now, you may even want to, um, they did draw the cup, but you may even want to draw some circles right here. And maybe draw 13 circles to show the pencils and it would help you to see them better. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, there we have our 13 um, our thirteen pencils represented. Now, we do not know how many he took out. That's what we want to find out. Okay, and we are going to make an addition sentence. Okay, so how many pencils do we know are in the cup first? And I hope you said 13, so we can fill in 13 here because we know that there are 13 pencils in the cup. That's how many we had. Um, we are not sure how many were taken out, but we know when they took some out, we had six left. 
So we are going to mark out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the six that we still have. Okay, so we know that we have six pencils that we still had left. So how many count and see how many that we took out the the cup? Very good, and I hope you said seven because we took out seven. Emil took out seven pencils, and so we know that six plus seven or seven plus six equals 13. And that's how that we found out how many pencils we took out. Okay, that is the end of the lesson for today. Um, we will save this page and we will save all the materials we were using and that will be what we will do tomorrow. Thank you for working hard. See you soon.